Hi, I'm Adam Del Monte, and first of all, I want to say what a privilege and honor and a true pleasure it is to be invited to play a tribute for one of my all-time heroes, Julian Bream. Uh, there was a period in my life where he was my teacher, but not directly, but through the LPs that my father bought me. And so I would listen to his Bach records on autoplay, basically, and just absorbing his articulation, his musicality, his spirit which so strongly came through uh, through the records, remarkably so. And, uh, and of course, when I was 11 years old, at the time I was living in Germany, and my father took me to see him live for the very first time. And uh, it was an incredible experience, to say the least. We went to uh, Beethoven Halle in Bonn, and uh, that was the same hall as well where I saw, afterwards, I saw Itzhak Perlman and uh, Nathan Milstein, which is kind of a sign of the times back then where the audience was just generally interested in good music and it wasn't so categorized between different instruments like it is today, unfortunately. But uh, he played the first half flute, the second half guitar. Uh, imagine an 11 year old uh, just in this, in this environment. Uh, I was just absolutely enthralled and inspired uh, by his presence, by his music, even the way he presented pieces, he at one point he had a change in the program and he stood up and with his royal British accent uh, addressed the audience uh, very elegantly and very eloquently. 
and uh, announced the change in the program. And it made such an impact on me on how comfortable he was on stage and how comfortable he was communicating with people. Um, I then saw him live again at age 15 or 16 when I was studying in Manchester. He came to Manchester, England, to give a concert. And there was, it was a full guitar recital. Among other pieces, he played the blue guitar by Michael Tippett. And everybody was all excited about that, as well as the rest of the program. It was, it was again, amazing. Uh, his spontaneity and his, uh, his spirit of taking risks all for the sake of art is one of the main qualities that I think I adopted from him. Either I subconsciously adopted it from him or I happen to be a little bit similar in that regard. But it is a quality of his that I very much, very strongly identified with. Also, the fact that he started with jazz, um, and he himself said in, in, his, in his documentary how jazz taught him how to enjoy the moment and be in the moment, musically speaking. And that is something that is very, very true in flamenco as well. And uh, so I feel that there is a connection uh, with Julian Bream here uh, via two popular, different popular styles of guitar and styles of music that we entered into classical too. And I love what he brought from the, the spontaneous spirit of jazz. I love that he brought that to, to classical and I aspire to do the same uh, coming from flamenco. And those are two qualities that I very much identify with. So what can I say? He's one of my all-time heroes. Uh, I've admired his, his expressivity, his musicality, his attention to detail, how every note matters. And every time I listen to him or watch him play, it just reminds me of what needs to be done. And uh, I am so grateful that he was in my life, even if it was remotely. But he was definitely an eternal inspiration for me and always will be. So long live Julian Bream. <laughs>